Is your teacher gnawing on a globe? And your friends chewing on bookmarks? And now you're hungry for paper clips! What's going on? Is this really a stressful class? Or just our new edible school supplies? Find out in our new video! We are super late to Miss Smith's class! She has put so much work into getting ready for this class, and she even cleaned the globe! And we show up late and break her heart. Oh no! Now she feels hurt! We need to make it up to her. A delicious globe will help us out. Crumble sponge cake. Combine it with Nutella and caramel condensed milk. Mix it. And shape a ball. Roll out blue fondant to make a thin layer. And wrap the ball with it. Print a map on wafer paper and cut out continents. Dampen them with water and attach to the globe. Put the ball onto a globe stand. A universal suite waits for Miss Smith. We change her boring plastic globe for this delicious chocolate globe. The teacher touches it with hesitation. Is this globe actually edible? Wow! It's so tasty! The waters of the ocean have never been so sweet! Your apology is accepted! The blue-eyed girl gets into a disagreement with a pencil and a sharpener. She is so anxious that she has crunched up all the wood. Don't torture your teeth! It'd be better to munch on a Fratella pencil. Take wrappers off Fratella candies and cut them. Make holes and put them onto a pencil. Cover the entire length with candies. Roll the Fratella until you get a smooth surface. Cut off the candy near the tip of the pencil. It's the first time the blue-eyed girl has ever seen a pencil wearing a Fratella suit. Should I trust it? It's nice! If you do chew on a pencil, then make sure it's a Frutella pencil. She quickly finishes the entire sweet layer. Luckily, Jackie has something else to offer. If you finished your pencil, then a delicious eraser will appear on the menu. Take chocolate glaze off a marzipan candy. Shape it into an eraser. The blue-eyed girl adores marzipan. She can tell this eraser is sweet by its smell. This eraser candy comes in handy. It satisfies my hunger for knowledge. Miss Smith leaves her workstation. Apparently, she and the PE teacher are having an urgent teacher conference. It's the perfect chance to investigate our enemy. Let's see what she's hiding in here. A sweet marshmallow on a stick. Thread a barrel of a pen through some marshmallows. I sink my teeth into these sweet marshmallows. And the blue-eyed girl is also lucky. She finds a slice of watermelon. It tastes a little unusual. But once the blue-eyed girl has a few bites of the watermelon, she arrives at a great discovery. She finds a notebook inside the watermelon. Cut triangular sections out of thin wafer paper following a template. Cut the same triangle out of wafer cake. Sprinkle a board with starch. Roll out red fondant on it and cut it so that it's of the same shape as the wafer triangle. Fold the edges of the fondant and cover the wafer. Roll out light and yellow fondant to make a thin strip and put it onto the wafer. Make it look like a watermelon rind. Use green food coloring to paint the watermelon rind. Make holes in the wafer and in the paper sheets with a wooden stick. Pass through a ribbon and tie the sheets in the cover together. Cover the watermelon with edible glue and attach seeds. The girls figure out at once what's going on. This must be Miss Smith's sweet writing set. A marshmallow pen and wafer notebook are a match made in heaven. You can write only the sweetest messages in it. I'm afraid that the only thing Miss Smith will have left from this delicious set is a refill. Let's see if Miss Smith has any more edible secrets. These bookmarks look like cupcakes. They must also be edible. Draw bookmarks with sweets on a sheet of wafer paper. 
We choose cupcakes, cakes, and candies. Color them with food markers. The girls deal with these bookmarks quickly. Miss Smith loves having a snack when she reads. But we ate all the bookmarks and now the teacher won't be able to find where she stopped reading her book. Dolly's face looks so sad, as if a dog ate her diary. But I know how to help her. I've got some sweet first aid hidden in my school supplies cup. Mark the size of a school supplies cup on black cardboard. Cut it out and attach the cardboard layer inside. Put a pack of Nutella and Go into the cup. Fill all the free space with school supplies. This is a perfect disguise! A real chocolate container and sticks are hiding among pens and pencils. A sweet break cheers my friend up right away. You can survive any class if you have enough Nutella. But Dolly has sweet helpers too. These are cute candy paper clips. Melt hard candies in a microwave. Dip metallic paper clips into the melted liquid. Put them into a fridge. Candy on a paper clip is a new variety of school supplies yummy. We can discuss all the latest school news over candies. Dolly tries out a new technique in art class. It's called break a brush. Why is she so stressed out? Take a look at Miss Elizabeth. She is always calm while painting. Her brush must be special. Cut a flat, chewy candy. Leave a thin strip. Wrap it around a brush handle. Roll it so that the candy makes an even layer. Put a tip with bristles onto the handle. Miss Elizabeth bites off a piece of the brush. You see, art actually calms you down, especially when you have jelly paints on hand. Let's see what taste I will discover today. Melt jelly candies in a double boiler. Add a drop of food coloring. Take an empty gouache paint pot and fill it with melted candies. The paint stretches out of the pot as though it's some kind of extraterrestrial creature. Add different food colorings and you will get different paint colors. Miss Elizabeth dips her brush into the paint, but not its bristles. She dips the edible side. The girls are sure that eating paint is not the best idea, but the teacher offers them new colors to taste. There are enough paints to share with all the students. What do you think about a short snack break during art class? The girls like these jelly paints. They taste as nice as they look. Dolly has something special. It's an edible case. Let's see how it fits in her friend's bag. Take the wrapper off some Frutella and knead the candies. Roll it out to get a thin layer. Sew a zipper to one side. Fold it to get a pen case and sew the zipper to the other side. Fasten the sides of the case. Cut the edges, creating a pattern. Color the case with food coloring. Jackie sits down on her bag without looking. Oops! It seems that something inside cracked. We need to assess the damage. She doesn't recognize the contents of her bag. Someone must have snuck that in. This is a Frutella surprise Dolly made for you. It's an edible case for all of your pens. The truth is, it has seen better days. Yes, it was prettier at first. I cheer Dolly up as much as I can. Handmade yummies are a tricky thing to pull off. Jackie looks at her friend's lollipop with envy. Dolly would love to share, but eating someone else's lollipop is not good manners. Thankfully, Miss Elizabeth watches the class attentively and she's ready to give away her eraser for a lollipop. Melt caramel candies in a microwave. Dip clean erasers into the melted caramel. Join them together. Cover with food coloring and add bright sugar sprinkles on top. Miss Elizabeth shares her sweet eraser. Jackie gets not just a lollipop, she gets a caramel candy with sprinkles. It can also erase your mistakes. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth! Did you like our edible school supplies? 
Then write in the comments what you will bring to school. A crunchy notebook, sweet bookmarks, or a chocolate globe. And don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss sweet new ideas on Troom Troom.